Good day everyone and welcome back to another shelling adventure. It is such a beautiful sunny blue day today and I found our first shell find. Here we go. Oh it's nice. Okay we've got ourselves a lovely, he's got a predator drill hole right there, he was eaten by something. Got ourselves a lovely conical moon snail. Looks like we got ourselves a little live snakehead towery right there. Got his little feelers out, got some of his mantle out. He's a nice one. Right in there I see a little cowrie, probably a graceful cowrie. Let's take a look at it. Oh, it's a nice one, yeah. It's a beautiful graceful cowrie. Oh, right over here I'm seeing very, very beaten up cowries. Um, blue cowrie and a snakehead cowrie. Very beaten up bonnet, piece of a some bigger cowrie right there. Got myself this one though, doesn't he look good? Yep, empty. Lovely pink uh, toned crowned cone. Very nice. Right at the top here, look at him sticking out. I want him. Yeah, little flat sand snail. Also called uh, the Inces moon snail. Very, very cute. Oh, just notice a few things just then. First of all, in this little hole, yeah, it's empty. Oh, I really like this, these guys. Just been finding a whole bunch of them. The, uh, the Spangler's Trumpet, very, very nice. Another crowned cone right here. Finding a lot of very nice crowned cones today. Lovely. Looks like a lovely moon snail too. Oh, I dropped my crown cone. Oh, I dropped my moon snail. Oh, I'm sorry, everyone. Very nice moon snail. Wow, so these guys, there we go, these two. They're both the same, I think. These two I find from time to time, they're usually all white, so this one with a bit of yellow on it is very nice. I do forget their common names because I almost never show them on the videos, they're a bit too plain. Anyway, wow, that one's a very nice one though, I really like this yellow tinted one. Got a pretty gosh darn good feeling about the shells in this sandy hole, so look who has returned today. Let's find some goodies. Let's just go for it. Ooh, alrighty. Mostly coral, mostly broken shell fragments. Let's just keep going until I find something. I'll dump the excess over there. Um, ooh, that's what I got. Are you kidding me? Ooh, I'm sorry. I got super excited about that one. Look at that Arosa. He looks super shiny. Oh yeah, I'm sorry everyone, I just really like Arosas. <laughs> I got a bit startled. <laughs> Ooh, nice looking crowned cone right there. Lots of nice crowned cones today. Yeah, definitely like him. Oh my god, I just went to dig around there, push this one up. Ooh, that's cool. Mostly broken, but it's a type of spindle shell. Ooh, you know, that's pretty cool. I think I'm gonna keep that one. <laughs> I did not notice how there was a big bonnet sitting right there. Yeah, big old checkered bonnet. Was that a Spangler's trumpet under it too? This one. Oh, Jesus, it was. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Wasn't expecting a Spangler's trumpet sitting in there. Oh, that's a fun one to find. Oh, hello. Is that another Spangler's trumpet stuck in there? Uh, is it like literally stuck? <laughs> it was something squishy. Uh, far out. There we go. Ah, uh, there we go, got myself, this is the third one today, I think. Another Spangler's Trumpet. Hold on, this one, right here, this little guy. Oh, it's a sundial. Not sure if it's a variegated one, probably is. Hello, let's take a look at you. Oh, he's a nice snakehead, get a load of him. Yeah, pretty gosh darn good. Before that wave came, I thought I saw something resembling Arabian teeth down here. Let's take a look at that one. This guy. This one. Oh my goodness, it is a stuck Arabian. Oh, there's another snakehead right in front of it. Oh, that's a nice snakehead. Right here though, is that an Arabian or is that a rock? It looks like a stuck Arabian. It looks so good. Oh my god. All right, from a different angle now. Let's try it again. Maybe if I ooh, move some of the rocks and stuff around it. Oh, I don't know if I can. The reason I want it so bad is because it feels pretty nice. 
Oh, I got it. I got it. <laughs> oh, I got it. It is very worn away on top. I thought it was going to be much. Damn it. Oh my God. Isn't that just typical of me? I'm sorry, everyone. There we go. Got myself a very worn away Arabian cowrie shell. I've been finding a, a few snakeheads off camera, but this one looks like the best so far. Oh, <gasps> Yep, for sure that one is the best so far. Ooh la la, that's a bit longer than what I usually see for snakeheads. He's a really pretty guy. Really good condition too. What is that? Is that another Arabian cowrie? I mean, it's gotta be, right? Ooh, that's scary. Is that a second Arabian cowrie? My goodness, I think I am getting lucky. I know that this spot was checked over by at least two shellers before me. Woo! There we go! Got myself a little Arabian! Yeah, he's in a lot nicer condition than the first one. Ooh, that's a good score! Well, after that Arabian, I just missed a banded bonnet right there. My friend took it out and uh, didn't want it, so I guess it's mine now. So thank you very much! There we go, he's a good fella. No hacking way! Oh, my butt's getting wet. That one must have literally washed up. This is where I got the Arabian from. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? This one? <gasps> wow! That is so stunning and massive! That is for sure 125% my biggest zebra volute ever! Oh my goodness! That is wonderful and gorgeous! Holy baby seashells! That is fan-freaking-tastic! Got a scallop way down there. Can I reach it? I don't... Kind of... Oh, oh no heckin' way! Can I reach it? Stretch. 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 Oh, I got it! Ooh, he's a pretty one! Look at that lovely gradient colour! The white to the pinky red. Yeah, it's a lovely commercial scallop! A checkered bonnet. That checkered bonnet must have just washed up. Oh, it's a nice little guy. Not too little, but not too big either. His condition is really, really lovely. Must have just come into this hole. My uh, friend was checking in there a little earlier. Didn't spot it. Oh, la la, another one. I have lost count. Maybe seven of these so far. Wow, that is impressive. Oh, doesn't he look like a nice one? Is he available to uh, come out, please? Oh, maybe. Oh, he is. Oh, it's another great bonnet shell. Gee, lots of bonnets and, uh, and trumpet shells today, everyone. Not getting really many calories on this side of the beach other than those big Arabians. My goodness, it's just a big day in general. Right down there. Yeah, let's take a look at it. Let's take a look. Ah, oh, stretch. There we go. Oh, it's a nice big one. Oh, it's a pretty one. It is a conical moon snail. A very, very nice one indeed. No way. Is that a beautiful cherry? Is that a cherry calorie? That's not a rock. I mean, that's a rock. That's a rock. But this one. Yes. Yes. Oh, he's got a tiny hole in him. That's still fine. He's beautiful. Got a cherry calorie. Awesome! Oh, I just spotted a good thing! Can you see it? Please, please, please tell me that's all. Is it? Oh, yes! It is all! Would you get a load of that lovely deer calorie? It looks like it will go a little wide in the sun. I wonder if I can do my um, wet sandpaper trick on it to bring it back up to looking its best. Ooh la la, that is a nice big cowrie. Nice big deer cowrie. Oh my goodness, look at this cute little sea hare. Hello Mr. Sea Hare. He is a very dark color. I'm usually used to seeing them in a lot lighter green color. I'm sorry, am I startling you? Alrighty. Oh, sweet cone shells. What do you reckon? Is that Hebrew one alive or empty? Let's give it a poke test. He is... Oh, oh he's not stuck. Here's, here's an empty one! Yes, there's just pebbles in there! Ooh, he's nice. Not the freshest Hebrew cone, but certainly I like his patterns. Awesome! Oh, right down there, would you get a load of those white cowrie teeth? Looks like a ring top cowrie. Let's take a look. Oh my goodness! 
It is empty. Would you get a load of the top of that? That is absolutely sp stunning and spectacular. I was about to say spunktacular or something. Oh my goodness, what a lovely cow find. Really love the ring tops here. Oh, that's a very large scallop shell in there. Shall we take a look at it? Oh, I forget this rock here that I'm on is wobbly. Oh, excuse me. Ah, uh, this one. This one, is he stuck? He's a little bit stuck. Oh, he's fine. Ah, uh, there we go. Oh, that rock is really going funky on me. Oh, yeah, that's a lovely bluey, reddy, grey colour. How do you describe that colour? It's a lovely scallop shell, though. Commercial scallop, probably. Well, I was intently looking at that hole. Didn't even see this up here. There's a lot of shallots out here. I wonder if someone, like, didn't want it. Oh, that's such a good one. No, that must have washed in on an errant wave or something. That is a lovely, ma oh, I was about to say magnificent, never mind, it's a lovely zebra volute. Very nice tip on it, very nice patterns, very nice condition. <laughs> oh, look what my lovely shallow friend just handed me that he found right at the shore here. I was literally like, I only missed it by five meters. That is a very, very impressive variegated ton. Just a little bit out there, missing its point, but doesn't it look good from that angle? Oh my, thank you very, very much to him. Hey everyone, let's do a few minutes of rack line shelling now that I'm right at the rack line. We have fast up. This is my first one today uh, for blue calories. Yep, it is the yellow toothed calorie. What? What? They are still washing up. Oh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. wow. This one's a very nice condition one. Are you kidding? Brown lined paper bubble. I found four of them in the last three beach visits, I think. Oh my goodness, that looks so incredibly good. Oh la la, I'm having all the big and little shell luck today. Okay, this is just my first good little shell. <laughs> my goodness, are you kidding me? Oh, it's so teeny weeny. Yes, it is missing its tip. It is a teeny tiny little paper fig. I was about to say paper bubble. We got a paper bubble in my hands and a little paper fig. Oh, that is so cute and adorable. Oh, I just picked up a big broken piece of a paper fig. Look at how small my teeny baby one is compared to the big broken one. Oh, I just thought that was funny. Oh, that is a very vibrant scallop. Wow, that color is very, very impressive. It's a lovely red. Um, not sure what kind of scallop. I'm pretty, still pretty bad at telling them apart. Probably a glory scallop. Oh, okay, what's this one? We've got, oh, it is whole. Oh, yeah. Um, I think it might be like a baby giant hairy triton. Looks like it to me. Uh, it's very hard to tell though. And I have found a few of these in the last few days. Oh, that one is broken. This one, though, doesn't look broken. There we go. We have a teeny tiny little sea butterfly shell. It's about a blow away in the wind. There we go. Got a good hold of it. Very nice, transparent, and extremely delicate shell. Well, I was just setting up my seashells over here, and a lady walked past and gave me this beautiful chestnut banded moon snail. It's either that or it's called an egg white moon snail. They're pretty hard to find here, so I'm super stoked with that. Thank you very much to her if she ever watches this video. So here are the shell finds for today, and if you've enjoyed them, please hit that like button for me and subscribe if you want to see more shelling adventures. But of course, it's time to talk about a favorite, and please let me know which ones were your favorites as well down in the comments. It was a super fantastic day. The tide got down low, all the sea foam from the other side of the lighthouse had gone away. I found a lot of Spangler's trumpets, found a couple of Arabians. That one is a very nice Arabian found a couple of deer calories. I've only put this one out for now. He'll look very nice when I do some wet sandpaper on him, do the wet sandpaper trick to, uh, to clean him up a bit. I found a gorgeous arosa, a lovely snakehead calorie, an absolutely fan freaking tastic uh, ring top calorie right here. Absolutely beautiful, totally in love with that guy. And a rack line find right next to him. Ooh la la, this brown lined paper bubble is an absolutely spectacular condition. Really, really like that one as well. 
but my favorite for the day. Oh my goodness. I can't go with this one because this lovely ton shell came from Joel. Thank you so much for him, to him for the ton and for that lovely banded bonnet. My favorite today, just to compare the two. Oh my God. My favorite today is this absolutely gloriously huge zebra volute. So the small one is how big I usually find them. This big one, I mean, he's just a massive beast, you know? So without a doubt, this guy is my favorite today. He's just spectacular in every way possible. Good girl, Pud Pud, good girl. And that's it for this time, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys.